Hey guys, Fear of God here, and I am here with a build that I have not yet seen on YouTube uh, for a skill build. Now, this is going to be a little bit of an informative video as well because I have not really seen anybody cover this kind of information. Um, but in the Division 2, skill builds are a little different than they were in Division 1. Case in point, I'll show you. This is my skill power. But look, <clears throat> if we go down to my chem launcher, which has the fire starter, it's at 88,432 explosive damage. That's at uh, 50,533 armor repair. Now look, if we just throw on random gear that increases the skill power, uh, grab another piece, there you go. So it's at 27,69 uh, now. But the damage and the healing does not change. So the skill power is only relative to the mods in which you are picking to be able to um, unlock certain stats. Now I'll go into the actual build. Um, this I have a bit different than what I've seen with other people. It's great because not only do I have either 10 fire starter ammo, which is what I use it for, especially in PvE. Um, <laughs> it's fun to just light everything on fire. There's a, uh, gonna be a small video to show you all that, um, at the end. But also in, in PvE, uh, PvP, you can use the reinforcer and use it as a team healer. With 11 shots, it does some good. Um, when you go into the normalized though, the mods will differ because you see, as you see, the skill power requirement, 1807, 1874. When you go in there, it drops down to, I think, like 1,600 or something like that. So uh, only one of them is active. So you have to change those mods around a little. But let's get into the actual build, and um, I'll tell you what would be preferred. And But this is what I actually have. So what I have is three pieces of Weaver with 7% critical hit damage, uh, drone skill power, and critical hit chance. Cooldown reduction, critical chance, and skill power as a talent. The chest piece, I have Providence, uh, with which has the skill power unlocked, which is the only one you need. Bonus armor, weapon damage, critical hit chance, skill duration. I would like to be able to get Berserk or something like that on this, but I can't, so I can't seem to find one. Um, for this, I have I have an Arality holding, but I would like to change this over to a Providence, seeing how they don't make an Alp Summit holster. Um, do that Providence, and then do the chest pieces in Alps, and I'll tell you why. The reason being is, and there's a Weaver backpack, because you see critical hit, damage, drone, skill power, uh, critical hit chance, critical hit chance, damage, health. Uh, on the ropes, which is not locked, I would like to have a different talent here. I'm not really sure what, uh, probably uh, either Unbreakable or uh, Safeguard, but I've been trying to find one. Okay, Alp Summit. So, the reason why I was saying that I would like to be able to have an Alp Summit holster or Providence holster and then change the chest piece over to an Alp Summit is to be able to get that extra skill power. And for that reason, uh, to be able to do that because their rally holding piece is kind of useless in this in this case, uh, but I've been having troubles finding one that would work. Um, but anyway, so I have the Alp Summit gloves, uh, which has terminated on it, uh, depleting an enemy's armor and grants thirty five skill damage for fifteen seconds. That's great with the uh, fire starter for sure. And then Weavern um, knee pads, critical damage, skill power. Uh, headshots from cover that needs to be changed. I haven't been able to find something that I can really change it to. And let's see, um, as far as the mods, 
I have bonus armor, total armor, health regen, uh, weapon damage, critical hit range, LMG, critical hit damage, weapon damage, critical hit, uh, critical range, optimal range, weapon damage. Uh, that, all these mods are kind of, you can change them up however you wish. Um, they're not really what's important to the build. What's important to the build is these mods, which are uh, additional ammo. Because the the skill power doesn't uh, alter how much you heal or damage, I went for just enough to be able to basically unlock these um, to be able to have that multiple ammo, uh, which is the only thing you need. There's no real such thing as a skill build per se even using the hard wire or anything like that your skill power does not affect the damage output the only thing it affects is what mods you can use on your skills so you only need enough skill power to be able to do those which honestly they, they was kind of i don't know if the developers necessarily meant it to be exactly like that um, because it really takes the usefulness of a skill build out um, Except for in this case to where, you know, just having the extra shots, basically. And then I have my healing drone. All right, and then weapons. Uh, I have the Black Market T821. Uh, hits 21.6k damage. It has close and personal. Um, jazz hands and uh, Waskly on it. Um, I'd like to change out that third talent, probably for like a, a duck and roll to where you know you're rolling it it, it uh, takes away status effects but it's what I have and then the LMG I have close and personal uh, accurate and uh, recharged all right so if we get into the stats this build still actually hits rather hard if we look <clears throat> this is on uh, the black market t821 it has 2100 uh, 21,628 weapon damage, 52.5% critical hit uh, chance, which the cap on that is 60%, just like uh, in the first division. So that's pretty good. 41% um, critical hit damage, 50% uh, headshot damage, 17 range, blah, 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 blah. Now you can use any specialist or any skills with this, really. I went with this because I have so much uh, critical hit chance and everything rolled already that I figured that I might as well run it with the SMG and, you know, capitalize on that as kind of like a crit build. 15% uh, LMG damage, 15% SMG damage. Um, I have 194 armor, 36,000 max health, 21 health regeneration, 20% um, burn resistance, 17% school uh, skill reduction, um, yeah, so th that's basically the entire build for a quote-unquote skill build in Division 2. Nobody else has really covered anything like this that I've seen, um, but again, there's nothing that's really available yet for a skill build, but as far as this, for both PvE, I use the, the fire starter, which I love, um, just lighting everything on fire, it's great crowd control. Um, but for PvP, I use uh, the Reinforcer to kind of not only heal myself and just spam those shots of the Ken Launcher, um, but also my teammates. So, hope you guys liked it. I hope it gives you guys some ideas of uh, what to do. And uh, as always, if you don't see me here, if you don't see me grinding some mission, you'll see me in the Dark Zone and you'll see me in the Skirmish. Fear of God is out.